Hey, it's Vince. Welcome to The Shack. I'm going to try to answer some age-old questions about CW and what frequency you should be on. Stay tuned. So I'm going to answer some age-old questions about CW. Your tune frequency and your BFO offset. I'm going to demonstrate using a UKIT's HB1B and KX3 as a receiver. HB1B is a really simple radio with a fixed BFO. I've got both BFOs set to the same offset of uh, 700 Hz for this demo. So what's a BFO you're asking yourself? Well, what does a beat frequency oscillator do? It creates an audio tone or a heterodyne when the carrier is detected in your receiver. See the technical notes down below in the description for how it does this. Now, it might also be called on your radio a carrier offset, a CW offset, a CW side tone, pitch, etc. Consult your manual. On many radios, the BFO can be adjusted to suit the ear of the radio operator or the listener. So, why do we want to be on the same dial frequency as the other guy? That's common advice you see. When you're working a one-to-one -one rag chew, you want to be on the same frequency as the other guy so that you aren't using up too much spectrum or bandwidth uh, and allowing others to use it as well. But why might we want to be off the same frequency as the guy who's calling? Well, that's when you're trying to break through a pileup. At the other end, it sounds like a great big jumble, just like this. And so by tuning off frequency, you differentiate yourself from all the others that are calling and you stand a better chance of getting through to that caller. So. How can we transmit off that dial frequency compared to the other guy? Well, that's either adjust your variable frequency oscillator, your VFO, the big knob, or you can use your XIT function, your transmit incremental tune, uh, if your radio is equipped with one. For this demo, each radio has the same BFO or audio heterodyning frequency tuned in 700 hertz. Um, set by the operator and each radio is set to the same dial frequency. Let's cut over to the PX3 cam and let's take a peek. What does it sound like at the other end when we are on frequency to the other guy? That's what it sounds like at the transmitter and here's what it sounds like at the receiver. And you notice that they both, at the receiver and at the transmitter, they both sound about the same. <clears throat> so question, how does it sound at the receiving end when the transmitter is off frequency compared to the receiver as if they're trying to break through a pileup? Well, in a word, it sounds not like the desired BFO offset frequency to the receiver's operator, but it's either higher or lower by the amount of the dial frequency difference than the receiver's desired BFO offset. Let me demonstrate that for you now. I am going to transmit, and you're going to watch here on the waterfall, and you can tell I'm listening to the upper sideband. The green line on this PX3 display indicates the center frequency or the dial frequency. <clears throat> And this is what it looks like as I'm transmitting, just a series of dits on frequency. So you can see the carrier frequency, and you can see on this display the BFO offset frequency. Now what happens if I start altering the transmitted frequency? I'll alter it by a little bit at a time here. Send a series of dits. Now it sounds the same to the transmitter because his BFO is set relative to his carrier frequency. But you can see what it's doing to the receiver's waterfall display is it's showing the carrier frequency moving up and down as I go through it. So switching it to reverse CW. Now reverse CW means it's going to listen to the lower sideband. 
it's helpful if you've got a signal. You know, if you were listening on the upper sideband up here and there was a signal that was adjacent, it would be hard to filter that out of your audio passband. So you can switch to the reverse sideband and you can listen along. What does it look like on the display now? Well, it looks like the desired BFO offset from the carrier frequency. <clears throat> and if I move it up and down, you can see the carrier frequency moving up, and you can see it moving down. Now the reality is, you're never going to know what it sounds like on the receiver's end. So why don't we listen to the receiver for a bit now. And I'm going to do the same steps. I'm going to turn the audio up on the receiver and you'll hear both of them. So now let me vary the frequency on the transmitter and I will show you. I'll turn down the, the speaker on the transmitter. Now you're just hearing the receiver. So now I'll show you what happens. I'm going to turn the frequency up. And the signal gets higher. And as I turn it down, the frequency gets lower. And what you're really hearing is the difference between the dial frequency and the, the BFO, or the heterodyning frequency. Now what happens if I change the sideband back to normal? Well, this gets really interesting. The I'm going to turn it up now. But wait! The heard signal is getting lower in frequency. Well remember, the carrier is shifting, but the BFO offset isn't. So now this radio is displaying that as the difference between the dial frequency and the desired BFO or heterodyning frequency. I'm going down in frequency now and you can clearly see that on the waterfall. At the other end, what's it going to sound like? All you know is it's going to sound different to the other guy. It's not going to sound like this, like it's on frequency, compared to yours. If you shift your transmitted frequency, now you can hear both of them. All you know is it's going to sound different, and you don't have any control. I'll go below frequency. You have no control over what it's going to sound like at the other end. All you know is it's going to sound different. So in summary, how your radio handles this transmitting a little bit off frequency or on the same frequency and handles BFO might be different than the other guys, but your only takeaway from this is if you're on the same dial frequency, your, free, your tone is going to sound like their desired offset tone at the other end. If you're transmitting on a different frequency, you can't control if it's going to sound higher or lower than the other guy because that's dependent on his receiver. I hope this has answered all your questions. Thanks for coming along. 73.